Hey guys, um, Cam Quast here. Just wanted to do a little um, overview of my thoughts of this. I have not played a game yet, nothing of the sort. I just, um, just actually just bought a battery and just shot it a couple times. But overall, um, I mean, good gun. I have a lot of plans, been buying a bunch of things to upgrade this thing. You're not seeing the finished product yet. It will be actually pretty different by the time you see it again. Um, overall, I just want to say great paint finish. Um, even for, I haven't taken out of the game. I have used this um, quite a bit out in the backyard and stuff, but overall good. I attached this thing with a cheap T1. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to try to find a different optic and yada yada. Um, my main big issues with this gun so far is battery. Battery, battery, battery. This thing sucks with the battery. There's just so little room and it doesn't suck necessarily. It's just, it's very, very cramped in here. Um, and the battery that I bought was the Titan 3000 Ma 7.4. Um, I'm probably gonna get a 11.1 soon, but what I bought was, I bought the extender for this. The only problem is it's probably not gonna be coming anytime soon. Um, overall, stock is good. At first, I thought I had a problem with this, since this is not rubber, it's more of a hard plastic, which is actually fine with me. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I'm probably gonna get the Ergo, um, PTS thing just to hold it right here and then get the Magpul black one right here um, I do like this and I do use this a lot um, this is like a hard plastic hard I'm not too sure if it's rubber or polymer but it's really good um, trigger pull um, is all right it's pretty long um, I'm probably gonna upgrade the compression systems and then whatever goes along um hop up um hop up's fine um it was i mean of course shooting my two o's i don't have a chronograph so i don't really know um what it's shooting right now but overall the pre pre cock is amazing love that thing um it, it's good i bought a one of the max hop up units um and then i'm yeah, I'll, I'll go into that later once I install it, but right now it's rocking the stock setup. Um, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Um, I'm just swapping out the inner barrel with a tight bore, um, the hop-up unit and the hop-up bucking. I'm going to make it a flat hop. I have the option to do our hop. Only problem is it's easier on me to do a flat hop and you pretty much get the same results. Um, I added one of the PTS uh, short grips, um, and then this is really just hiding the the inner barrel. The inner barrel is, goes a little longer right here. Um, that's the stock inner barrel. Um, I just switched up the flash hider, so that's probably not even like your case. Um, here, let me see if I can get it out. Yeah. So as you can see, you can see a little bit. It's not bad. But um, my, my changes, what I'm gonna do is I've already bought the PTS Centurion M-Lock, which is a 9.5 inch. Um, so that's gonna be changed out. I also, instead of um, getting a new barrel, I just got the extension. I think it's an Angel Customs one. That was the only one in stock. It's gonna be a 10 inch barrel. And then I'll get, um, whatever inner barrel that needs to be um i bought one hopefully it's the right measurements we'll see <laughs> i'm hoping it is um but i've i've taken the rail off of this this one it's pretty easy um there's just a couple screws right here one right here and then flip to the other side the same thing um also my plans are to hopefully get rid of this um hopefully get rid of these they I do like them for the look. Um, personally, they're not the best for my gameplay. They could be better for you. 
Um, what I'm gonna do is probably get the PTS Unity right here and then whatever back here. Um, so far I've tried, um, let me switch hands. So far I have tried the old PTS. Um, you can see this, but it's the old PTS PMAG. This feeds, fits, perfect. Um, I tried a KDVA, a K120. This fit and fed. And then, of course, um, normal, trusty, which I loaded BBs and I didn't shoot this yet. Um, but what I've done was, I've, um, I did a trade, which, um, not going into that trade, um, right now, but I bought this little conversion thing and it does sit in here. Um, it is a little snug. It's better with the mag. There we go. And it just turns it into an MP5. I did a little custom um, paint job to this, like a worn paint job. So it's a little hard with one hand. But, um, yep. So this is what it looks like with this. I like the stick mag like that. Um, I like the straight mag, I mean. Um, I do, I did just get the MP5. Um, I think this is a SEMA or SIMA, or however you call it. This one's a little finicky, more finicky. Oh, clicking, perfect. There is wobble. Um, uh, like for this one, I did a little electro tape and that fixed the job. Um, but so far, shot great. Um, I just really wanna upgrade it, um, make my own rifle my own rifle. Um, not a fan of the curve look. I do like the straight look, like the Glock mag kind of look. Um, my personal opinion. Um, grip, grip is, I mean, pretty fine. I, I would probably change this for a PTS one, but honestly, this one's very similar and fits perfect. Um, I am hopefully, um, I don't want the suppressor anymore. I don't like the suppressor look. I mean, for now, it looks good, but I want to get the battle comp like the PTS compensator or whatever it's called. The, the thing that goes over, um, have no clue what it's called, but um, yeah. So overall it's good. Doesn't sound grindy, doesn't sound anything. Only issues that I had, which was today, um, when I was shooting the gun, it, the MOSFET was beeping a lot. This could be user error, I don't know. Um, I checked the manual, didn't really tell me anything. Um, got back in my room, unplugged the battery, plugged it back in because this is very, very cramped. Um, this is the smaller Titan battery, FYI. Um, not bad. Um, good trigger response, even with the 7.4. Um, honestly, I'm going to try to do an 11 one. I just am trying to stay away from lipos just because of the puff and have had bad experiences with it, but it's pretty cheap, so we'll see. Um, but overall, like this gun, um, in the near future, I will do another review. It's gonna be completely, probably different. <laughs> it's gonna look a little different. I mean, this is probably gonna stay the same, but over here will be different, and then internal will be a little bit different. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of if I should change the MOSFET, let me know. I'm okay with it right now since it's giving me no troubles. That's fine. Um, I was going to exchange my compression parts with Lonex stuff and then probably one of the Max um, nozzles just so it could feed properly with this. If not, honestly, the nozzle I heard had a one O ring, so it might be just fine. Um, I was going to change out the motor. Um, I was probably going to get some Siege Techs 14.1 uh, or 14.9, whatever they're called. Um, I just want less less stuff. I want SSG, so if you have any like comments of what to do and what to put in this, let me know. Um, but so far, hope you like this. Um, basic little overview. Um, but I hope you like comment please and subscribe. Thanks guys.